It doesn't often happen that a regulator will literally 100% guarantee all the process in failing banks. So for the central bank to take that step, not just the five that has been recently resolved, but UT and Capital Bank, all those deposits were guaranteed 100%. So for me, that's a clear indication that your money is safe. But, but uh, Ms. Andani, you work in this industry, but for the ordinary person at home, uh, it's comforting news to say that your money is safe. Yeah. But when people hear about banks folding yeah. and the regulator taking control of these banks, it is a worry to many people. And um, this year, this will be the seventh bank. It's clearly worrisome, but the regulator is there first to license, to monitor, and to resolve where, you know, dissolve the institution where there isn't any, you know, future or there's no clear sign of viability. Nobody lost a penny in last year, UT and Capital Bank and nobody has, uh, is going to lose a penny. That is the promise that the regulator ha has given. And that is because uh, you and I as taxpayers have a big pocket because 5.7 billion of our money has been pumped into saving these five uh, But that's something i like us to dwell a little bit on. <laughs> yes. I sit here, it is through no fault of mine or anybody on the streets or anybody who pays tax yeah. that these banks have become what they have yeah. become. Okay. Why should I use my taxpayers' money to prop them up? Banking is now the nerve center of every economy. Your banking system collapses and the economy cannot stand Absolutely. in and out. And therefore, it is money well spent. The panelists made a number of suggestions. The economy of any nation depends on the financial services sector, especially the banks. However, there are other areas of Ghana's economy, such as the manufacturing sector, which should be given much attention. Regulator has been first to admit that over, during the financial sector reforms, at some point we got the compliance wrong. We're here to fix it. They're demonstrating how they're fixing that. They are, they are, they are, what they are doing is what, what we're seeing in the market now. The market, com market delinquency part is up to we, the market players, to do that. They gave them time. There's no way a regulator will shut a bank down overnight. Again, President Daniel will bear me out. Usually, I, I think it's section 28 or one of these sections, they'll give you adequate notice. It starts from your capital adequacy. It starts from having liquidity challenges. It starts from having clearing deficits at the clearing house in Bank of Ghana. So they give you enough notice. They give you a lot of talk conversations. It gets to a point where regulator realizes that you cannot fix the problem. So they would have to step in. Auditors have a big role to play in the financial sector. The public need financial literacy education. We are seeing a lot of reforms, we are seeing a lot of guidelines that there are directors have come out, there are new governors that even on those measures, there are new directors of them. And I'm sure they're going to issue a lot more directives. I think we should have the patience for them because they are doing it to save the day. But the question I keep asking, are we ready for the next layer? And um, are we ready for the next shake-up? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but let's be careful not to create. You see, the financial system is built on trust. Yes. At any point in time, even the Wall Street, all the Wall Street banks, if we create a situation where every depositor was at the gate of any of the banks tomorrow, you don't want that. Uh, the ones that have voted for the bank at our deposit.